Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plug and Boutique and Neutron 3 just got dropped by Isotope. And in true Isotope fashion, this version is absolutely mind blowing. So as per usual, we here on Plug and Boutique are gonna walk you through some of the main features. And in this video, specifically, we're gonna check out the brand new mixing assistant. This actually listens to the individual stems of your track and balances the volumes for you. It's, <laughs> it's gonna blow your mind, trust me. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the process, show you how to get started, show you the results, and let you know some tips and tricks along the way. It's all coming up, so let's get into it. All right, everybody, so let's jump into the brand new mix system. I do want to point out before we jump in that the mix assistant that I'm about to show you is only available in the advanced version of Neutron 3. What I've done here is imported my stems for this track. And on each one of these, I've put a relay VST. This is going to come when you get Neutron 3. And what you want to do is just drab, drag and drop relay on every one of your stems and then rename it whatever that stem is. So this is a snare, so I'm just going to rename it snare. And I've done that for each one of these. Now, some DAWs allow you to add one VST to multiple channels at the same time. I believe Pro Tools and Logic allow that, but Ableton Live does not. So Isotope recommend that you save a preset. So like an empty project, if mixing something you do regularly, and I'm guessing you do if you're going to be buying Neutron, uh, have a project laid out with Relay just on every channel. Have like 20 however many stems you usually use, and just have Relay on there. And that way you can save time from dragging and dropping. So anyway, every one of these stem channels now has a Relay VST on it. And the next thing I'm going to do is drag and drop Neutron 3 onto its own channel. And it's right here. It's the Mix Assistant. So what I'm going to do is actually make the GUI bigger. I love that they're finally doing this over at Isotope. I'm going to click this, and I have two options here. I can have the Track Enhance. This is the Track Assistant from Neutron 2. And Balance. Balance is what we want now. This is going to adjust the levels of the individual stems inside of my track. So I'm going to click Next. This is just some helpful information here. Um, you can check Do Not Show This Again if you already understand how to use the plugin and you don't want to see it again. I'm going to say Got It. And it's just going to show me what's checked here. Now, anything that's checked is going to be analyzed by the Mix Assistant. It's also showing me the green here means Relay, and the yellow means Neutron, a, or it could be any one of the modules or the mothership like I'm using here. And the next thing we want to do is check Focus. So the focus is going to be what do you want to stand out most in your mix. And for me, it's going to be the vocal and this Vox right here. The Vox is kind of like a vocal lead for the drop. So I'm going to say both of those. Now you can change this later on, so it's not too important, but I mean, you should already know where your focus should be, and this is just going to help Neutron get you there quicker. So I'm just going to click Begin Listening. And one other thing I want to point out here before I play the track is that Neutron, the mothership, doesn't have to be on your master channel. You can see here I have it on channel 12. I haven't done any crazy routing. It just needs to be in the same project with the relay devices. And that has to do with it, Isotope's advanced interplugging communication framework. So let's go ahead and play this track and let Neutron 3 do its thing. You leave me out. All right, and now we just got to click go to results, and here we have it. We have these five categories of different types of instrumentation, and we have some level adjustments that have been applied automatically. So let's go ahead and bypass this just so we can hear what's going on. So yeah, it definitely sounds better. However, we can get a bit more detailed. If you hit Edit Classifications, we can actually choose the categories for the different tracks. So bass is bass, great, guitar, music, good, kick, percussion, pluck, rim shot, percussion, snap, percussion, snare, percussion. Everything is exactly the way it should be. However, sometimes it might get miscategorized, and all you need to do is click the down drop, 
and go ahead and change it there. And you'll notice here that I can't change anything to focus now. So let's say maybe the Vox part is a little bit too uh, bright for that drop. If I wanna come in here and just change it to voice or even musical and then preview what that sounds like. Boom. So we have a really, really great starting point here. So all I have to do now is click accept and start making any other changes that I want to my mix. It's already balanced for me. So that's the power of the mix assistant, but they didn't stop there. There's something called the visual mixer. This was introduced back in Neutron 2, and you can use that with the relay system as well. So what I'm gonna do now is take the Neutron 2 visual mixer and just drop it on that same channel. As you can see here, it doesn't have to be on the master channel. And now I have all of those relays and I can adjust the gain by going up and down. And if you hold shift and drag up and down, it will lock. You can't go left or right. Uh, that's a helpful hint. We can also adjust the stereo width, so kick, it's probably gonna be pretty mono. If I drag all the way in here on these handles, this is mono, this is super wide. And if I go left to right, I can adjust the stereo balance as well. So now I can come in and make further improvements and customizations to the starting point that the Mix Assistant has gave me inside of the Visual Mixer. <laughs> All right, everybody, there you go. That's the Mix Assistant inside of the brand new Neutron 3 by Isotope. Obviously, there's a ton more new features and updated features, and I'm gonna walk through a few more with you right here on the channel. So make sure to subscribe to keep up to date and check out what's new inside of this amazing suite of plugins. I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video. I like you.